Welcome to Unsightly Opinions. My name is Tamara. Today we are going to be talking about all the terminology you hear when it comes to vision loss. There's so many terms like visually impaired, legally blind, partially sighted, low vision. What do they mean? We're going to talk about all of that. Even for somebody like me who has been legally blind for their entire life, it's still confusing. So let's chat about it. Before we get started with the terminology, we need to make sure we're talking the same language. Most terms when it comes to visual impairment or blindness are based off of an eye chart, often called the Snellen eye chart because that's the name of the guy who developed it. The Snellen eye chart is the one that you typically see when you go into an eye doctor's office. It usually has a big E at the top and then every line of letters underneath it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. You may also on some charts see a green line and a red line. Between the green line and the red line are the ranges in which people are considered to have relatively normal or perfect vision. If you can't read to the bottom of the chart past that initial line, it means that you have some form of vision loss. Each one of those lines has an acuity or a visual acuity listed next to it. So if you're looking really close at it, you might see something like 20 over 200, or 2020, or 2040, or 2070. Each one of those numbers says how well you can see compared to somebody with perfect vision, or 2020 vision. Even though 2020 vision isn't, quote, perfect vision, it's what's considered perfect in medicine. It's what's average. People can see better than 2020. Some people can see 2015 or even 2010, which means that you have fabulous vision. But if you start seeing bigger numbers as that second number, it means you have some form of vision loss. Usually people are considered to have quote normal vision if they're in the range of 2030 vision to 2015 vision. If you're within that range, you can drive a car, you can do anything you want to with your vision without any serious impact. Once you get outside of those ranges, it means you have some form of vision loss or visual impairment. And when we talk about visual impairment or when we talk about vision loss, we're not talking about, oh, I can't read to the bottom of the eye chart before I put on my glasses. We're talking about if somebody has their best vision, they're wearing their glasses, they've had all the surgeries they can have on their eyes, they have the best possible vision they can have with the best possible correction. If they still can't read to the bottom of the chart, it means that you have vision loss or you are visually impaired. If you have 20-20 vision, it means that what you see at 20 feet is what somebody else with perfect or near perfect vision sees at 20 feet. With the bigger denominators, something like 20 over 40, it means what somebody with 20-20 or perfect vision sees at 40 feet in terms of clarity or detail is what the person with 2040 vision sees at 20 feet. We'll do one more. 20 over 200. What somebody with perfect vision or 2020 vision sees at 200 feet or across a football field sees in terms of clarity and detail is what somebody with 20 over 200 vision would see at approximately 20 feet. There are many problems with this in terms of determining what somebody can or cannot see, but it is the standard form for determining where somebody sits on a relatively consistent scale. Many people with the same visual acuity may or may not be able to see a variety of things in different conditions. So it doesn't say, oh, they can see this or they can't see that. It means that here's where they sit on that scale compared to other people. So we'll get into another video talking about functional visual ability another time. But for right now, we're just gonna talk about when you can use each one of those terms. The first term I wanna introduce is visually impaired. There's lots of times when you hear this tossed about and it can mean a number of different things. If somebody has one eye or they can't see out of one eye completely, they might be visually impaired, even if the other one works perfectly. The term visually impaired usually starts to get used if you have vision between 2040 or 2060, and that's mild vision loss. In metric, I believe that's 612 to 618. When you hear that, you think, oh my gosh, 2040 is twice as bad as 2020, but that's not exactly true either. 
Vision almost sits on a logarithmic scale that's a little bit confusing. So 2040 vision is about 85% vision. Suffice it to say, somebody with 2040 vision still has pretty good vision, but they might have difficulties with some tasks like seeing at distances, or they might need binoculars or other aids to help them work. Usually, that's when somebody might need aids to start driving or they might need a doctor to sign off before they can use a car. Next, you'll hear the term low vision. Low vision is usually 2070, so just a little bit worse than that 2060 cutoff to 2160. In metric, that's usually that 618 to kind of 660 range. I know that's a little bit broader in metric than it is in imperial, but they're roughly equivalent. That's considered moderate vision loss, and that's when somebody's considered low vision. 20 over 60 or worse is usually the point when somebody has to seriously consider whether they're going to be able to drive or not. There are certain states when you can absolutely do that, but you're gonna have a lot harder time getting a license. At this point, you're probably going to start to notice an impact in your daily life in terms of what you're able to do with your vision. You're probably going to need to start to use magnifiers. You're probably going to need to adapt your vision in some way. The next term you're going to hear is what's called legal blindness. And legal blindness is usually the beginning of where someone has severe vision loss. They're considered to have a significant enough visual impairment that they may be able to qualify for certain benefits through the government. That's usually the point when somebody is definitely 100% of the time going to need to accommodate their vision in some way. When somebody is legally blind, it does not mean that somebody can't see anything at all. It just means that they have a significant visual impairment. And usually the term legally blind is used for individuals with between 20 over 200 and 20 over 400 vision. And in metric, that would be 660 to 360. That means that what somebody with perfect vision sees across a football field or 200 feet or 60 meters away is what this person can see at 20 feet. This is usually the point when somebody is definitely gonna need to use magnifiers or other aids. Somebody may decide that they need to use a white cane but it depends on the individual. Once you start getting acuities worse than 20 over 200, you tend to run off the end of the eye chart. That's worse than being able to see the big E at the very top and only the big E. They do still create acuities for that, but usually you start getting into things called counting fingers at specific distances or being able to detect movement. Somewhere in the range of 20 over 400 to 20 over 1000, and I believe that's 360 to 160, someone is considered to have a profound or extremely severe visual impairment or is profoundly blind. Can somebody still see at that 20 over a thousand range? Yes, they can. But the level of detail, the level of clarity gets significantly worse. Think about somebody with that visual acuity using a very, very low end, 20 pixel TV versus somebody with perfect vision having a HD super fabulous retina display with 10 million colors. It just means that someone's detail or clarity is going to be very, very poor. It doesn't mean that they can't see anything at all. When you start getting into visual acuities worse than 20 over a thousand, it means that somebody is a near total blindness. Again, it doesn't mean that somebody can't see stuff. It, it just means that their visual impairment is extremely, extremely severe. It means that somebody may be able to see hand movement or may be able to determine if the lights are on or off or may be able to make out some shapes or shadows, but they will not be able to typically read any print. They may not be able to make out details on anything. Then you get the most severe form of blindness, which is no light perception. That means that somebody is 100% totally, completely blind. They see absolutely nothing at all. 
So that's the nuts and bolts of when to use each one of those terms. If you have vision worse than 20 over 40, you can call yourself visually impaired. If you have vision worse than 20 over 70, you are low vision. If you have vision worse than 20 over 200, you're legally blind. If you have vision worse than 20 over 1000, you're almost completely blind. If you can't see anything at all, you're totally blind. Now that we've talked about the general rules when it comes to vision loss, there are other caveats that need to be put in there. Somebody can have perfect vision in a part of their visual field, but still be considered legally blind. What that means is that somebody's lost a part of their vision, whether that's their central vision or what they can see straight in front of them. Usually that's the part of their visual field that has the most clarity or detail or somebody loses part of their peripheral vision or what they can see to the sides. If somebody loses a significant degree of their visual field, either from the center or the periphery, they can still be considered legally blind. Usually it's considered 20 degrees of visual field. The reason that's still considered legally blind is if you lose a significant portion of your vision outside of a small area, you are going to miss a significant amount of visual detail. So you're probably still going to have issues catching things or tripping over things. You're not going to be able to see the same as somebody who has perfect vision. So it means that you've lost enough of your visual field that you are going to need to accommodate for that in some way. One more caveat that I wanna to add to that is somebody might have 2060 vision in the morning but they might be 20 over 800 in the evening because of visual fatigue. People can be dynamic within those ranges and it can be dependent on the lighting conditions, how fatigued they are, how much they've had to use their eyes. There's a lot of reasons why somebody may have better vision at some times and worse vision at other times. No one's vision fits nicely inside a box. You could line up 50 people with exactly the same eye condition, with exactly the same acuity in a room, and every single one of them would see something slightly different in terms of clarity or detail. There's a whole bunch of other small nuances that go in there, but that's the nuts and bolts of vision loss. What I want you to take away from all of these definitions is that vision loss is not all or nothing. Vision loss is a continuous range from almost perfect to nothing at all. So if you see somebody looking at their phone close up, if you see somebody using a magnifier, it doesn't mean that they're not legally blind. It just means that they have some remaining vision. And 90% of people who are considered legally blind have some remaining vision. And I fall into that 90%. If you haven't caught my video on what I can see, I did that. I will link it in a card above. You can check that out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like content like this, you can support the channel by hitting that subscribe button, liking, commenting, and sharing. But that's all I have for you today. See you next time. Bye for now.